Let me be real with you here. I've been living in Shenzhen for the past few years, but I haven't spent much time really exploring many parts of the city. It's a big place, it's very spread out, bad traffic, crowded subways, it's not perfect. But recently, I've been feeling an itch to get out and see more of the city, to visit areas that I've never seen before, to be a tourist in my own town, so to speak. Well, someone upstairs must be looking out for me, because while I was thinking about seeing what else Shenzhen had to offer, I got an offer to take part in an activity for big time online influencers just like me, Wang Hong as they call them here in China. And that offer was to explore Shenzhen's Longgang district, and to learn about how Longgang is moving from a sleepy old suburb to a high tech district leading the way into China's future. In today's video, I'll tell you all about what I saw and what I learned and what I liked during my three day tour of Longgang. Longgang district is way over here in Shenzhen's northeast. Now, I live down here in Shako, in Shenzhen's far southwest. And what this means is that my journey just to get to Longgong was a long one. It took me nearly two hours by subway. It takes me less time to get to central Hong Kong, including an international border crossing from my home, than it takes to get all the way across Shenzhen to Longgong. And this should inform you about why I haven't explored too much of this district in the past. It is just so damn far away. My impressions of Longgang from the little time I spent there previously was that it was kind of like an old part of town, it was more of a commuter suburb, and it wasn't really a place to actually spend time visiting, whether as a tourist or as a person living in Shenzhen. There are better places to go and see. And while I wouldn't necessarily say that I was wrong, I did learn over these past few days that I didn't have a full understanding of all the exciting things happening in the district. So let's explore. My journey started in Gankang Hakka ancient town. The Hakka are a Han subgroup originating somewhere in northern China who, over a thousand years ago, made their way mostly to the southern provinces of China, Taiwan, and eventually all over the world wherever Chinese immigrated to. If you've been with this channel for long, you've seen other ancient Hakka structures like the amazing Round Tulo in Fujian, link in the description. I was genuinely very surprised to find this ancient village within Shenzhen city limits. I had never heard of it or seen it or even asking friends if they've been there, they all said they've never visited it. Some of the structures that are still standing in this village date back to up to 300 years ago. This ancient Hakka village was a great way to start a three day journey into Longgang, a Longgang that I've never seen before. And I highly recommend it as a nice half day activity for travelers to Shenzhen. Next, I visited the Dafen oil painting village, an urban village that rose to fame for its incredible artists creating replicas of works of the great European masters. If you have ever seen a replica of a famous painting in a high-end hotel or a restaurant in Europe or maybe United States of America, then it probably originated right here in this very village. There's a really cool documentary about this village that I recommend you watch. It's called China's Van Gogh's. That film can shed a lot more light on this place, how it used to be, and the life of the talented artists that are here. Now, I've been to Dauphin Village before, long ago, prior to COVID, and I gotta say that while this is still a fascinating place to see in real life, it seems to have died a little bit compared to its heyday. I only visited on a Wednesday afternoon, so the timing could be part of the problem. But when I visited years ago, it was teeming with people, bustling with activity, including many foreign tourists and buyers. And now it just seemed kind of like a dead zone, which is a little bit unfortunate. If you are in Shenzhen and you do want to come here, either for buying art or taking art classes, you can do both here in this village. And it will only cost you around 30 RMB to take a half hour painting lesson. And if you want to buy a painting, a replica, or an original piece of art, of course it depends on the size and quality, but even something like this right here costs about 2000 RMB, and that's the starting price that the vendor told me. Of course, you can negotiate it down significantly if you are a serious buyer and you know what you're doing. Okay. Longgang isn't just a sleepy suburb of ancient towns and urban villages, it's also a new hotspot for technology and global business. This set of twin towers in Longgang district is opening soon, and it will be filled up with major players, Chinese and international, such as Costco, yeah, the grocery store, and Huawei, yeah, the phone technology company. These twin towers are actually the tallest twin towers in China now, and the view from the top is exceptional. However, a storm was rolling in, and so we couldn't see too much from the top. On a clear day, you should be able to see Hong Kong New Territories and a 360 degree view of Shenzhen. The high-tech robotics lab and museum nearby, hosted by the Shenzhen Institute of Artificial Intelligence and Robotics for Society, also illustrated the high-tech Shenzhen isn't concentrating just in, let's say, Longhua's factories or Futian's labs and offices, but also here in Longgang District. They showcase some incredible achievements and technology being developed right here in the district. Pretty sure I saw these guys on BattleBots before. 
I think that little vacuum cleaner one usually won all the matches. And the big old tank like this always lost. Looks like even China's getting woke. The technologies that are being developed here will help humans here on Earth, and hopefully in our future as a spacefaring species that can and will colonize the solar system and beyond. And to ensure humanity's survival away from Earth, it will take more than just robots and artificial intelligence. Here in Longgang, they also run long-term experiments on living away from Earth. Astronauts live and conduct experiments in these habitats right here, completely cut off from the outside world. They create their own oxygen and food and water and live for 180 days at a time inside these pods, simulating the circumstances in non-Earth environments. And while outer space is cool, I do have to say that the most impressive thing I saw in this entire trip was this. Essentially, it's just a garbage dump but it's also a high-tech garbage dump that turns our garbage, our trash, into electricity. So it's a power plant too. And for a facility that processes the garbage of millions of people, residents of Longang, there is no foul smell. And in fact, it is actually an attraction that is open to the public and locals can come and visit. What you're looking at right now is actually a scale model of the facility as it was raining cats and dogs outside and I couldn't shoot out there. But look at this thing. It looks like an NBA arena. It's like Madison Square Garden or the Staples Center. It's massive, but it's not a place for LeBron James and Kobe. It's actually a place that's creating green energy from our waste. And the environment around this facility is actually an ecological park full of green space, walking paths, and more. If you have made it this far in this video, thank you so much for watching, and I'd appreciate if you like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I'd also love to explain how this power plant slash waste dump works to you. But as you can see, it is a highly complicated and high tech process. So just be in awe of what humans smarter than us are able to accomplish. And for now, this is the end of our Longgang District tour. I didn't cover everything I saw during the few days I spent out here. Hopefully there were some interesting bits for you. And besides, there's always more to discover on our own. I don't want to tell you everything that you should do in this place. It's worthwhile if you come and explore yourself. And I'll definitely be visiting more of Shenzhen while I'm still here and learning more about what this crazy high-tech futuristic city has to offer. Before I go, I gotta thank Longgang District the local government there for hosting the event and for inviting me, of course. And I do also have to thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and I will catch you all in the next video. Thank you. Look at that, all these benches here are all 3D printed. That's pretty cool. Put the robots to work. <laughs>